Good morning. It is uh, day 16 or 15 or 17 of Pablo Across America 2011. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that we're here. It's the final week. We're in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, which is an amazing small town in the middle of a very beautiful area of Tennessee. Uh, we rode in yesterday on these great old school two lane country roads and we saw like Amish farmers um, literally hand farming uh, their fields with like horse horse drawn farming implements like the kind of thing you would have seen around here in the early 20th century um, and these guys are still rocking it. Uh, it was pretty incredible. It was fantastic. Um, <laughs> just really just the kind of stuff that if you saw it in a movie you wouldn't even really get it but riding through it on a bike it's, it's pretty epic. Um, Lawrenceburg is a classic small town. We had dinner last night at Ponderosa, which is about a half a mile walk from here. Just a great small town uh, situation. We're riding to another small town today. Um, Brian, do you know where we're going? Russellville, Alabama. Wow, the PhD is working out for you. I like that. Well, it paid off from the previous take. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, you. Yes. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> Uh, our first is to Caroline Churchill, who is going through treatment in Charlotte, North Carolina for T-cell, A-L-L, which is a form of leukemia. She is going to be on treatment uh, until July 2013, and she's three years old. So we're going to ride uh, very hard for her today to, to at least try and get ourselves to, to understand how hard a little girl like this has to, has to work to be on cancer treatment for three years. Uh, and, and, and all those things that she and her family have to go through to keep their heads up and to keep going through this. Uh, we have another little girl from North Carolina from Winston-Salem, Lily Mendoza, who's two years old. She's also going through treatment for, for leukemia and her grandfather uh, just sort of employed the same tactic that we're doing. He rode his bike from Philly to Austin. Uh, to raise awareness and raise money for pediatric cancer research. He just arrived in Austin last Saturday in time for the Live Strong Challenge. And uh, that's pretty, it's a pretty amazing feat that he did. And he did it by himself. He didn't have a whole bunch of dudes around him like this to help out. Um, our friends at Mello Johnny's Bike Shop uh, and Chris Gomez, who's our number one brother in Austin, they uh, texted me last week and let me know that they met her grandfather and asked if we would dedicate to her. Um, and so we are, um, we're doing just that. It's just an amazing thing that people do when they are faced with this uh, thing called pediatric cancer. It brings things out of people that they never knew that they were capable of. Uh, and it's a real honor to, to honor somebody else who's been on some other roads.